is going on? That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? 
Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out for no. a second. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. All right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I don't know. Someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of the, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs>
course it's locked. It's always locked. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just... disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's... gonna be pissed. He's... gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me.
You sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax? <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? <laughs> Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm, uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Are you sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? Like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? <clears throat> oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. Here it comes. Thanks. Almost there. You ready? No guts, no glory. Go. We're good. Reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah, I dropped it down for you. All right, 
This is the way to the courtyard. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. There's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. See if you can find it, then. Are you mental? We've got to turn it off somehow. You got it.
Okay. Now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. I'm here, aren't I? It's locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Wait! There's an alarm. That's new since last time. Ah, great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. It's gotta be around here somewhere. There. That ought to do it. All right, we're in. Shit. I got him. out. There's the tower. Yeah, but we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard, through that gate over there. Well, let's do it. We've got to get up to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. Gece vardiyasında çalışmaktan nefret ediyorum. I've got the other Haklısın one. abi. Hiçbir şey olmuyor. Bazen o kadar canım sıkılıyor ki.
Sweet dreams. Should be able to lift this up, sneak right under. Whoa, whoa, not so fast. There's another alarm. Oh, great. You want to get this one? Wait here. off. All right, we gotta cross this courtyard to get onto the roof. Okay, I'll just let you do all the ass kicking, all right? Right. Head for the fountain. Night. Okay, steady. <gasps> hey, ne yapıyorsun burada? <gülüyor> Veliye ne olduğunu duydun mu? Evet, o transfer olmamış mı? Now we just gotta find a way up to that window. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows.
Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well, good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? I know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. All right, let's take these guys out. Bu kutulara bizim taşımamızı beklemiyorlar umarım. Bu bizim görevimiz değil ki. Bunlar ne ki zaten? Eski sergiden kalan eşyalar. Çarçöp gibi geldi daha çok. We gotta get up to that walkway. This could help. There, that'll work. Now all we need is a horse. Those rafters will get us onto the roof, if we can get up there. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh?
Hey! Eller yukarı. Thanks, mate. Come on. Take the elevator next time. All right, there's the tower. Getting closer. Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. Great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. There's a guard right below you.
shit. We can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. <laughs> That's my girl. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off. We so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. Statement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? Khan. Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem... Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Flynn.
Hemen çıkışları kapatın. Kapıyı kapatın. No 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 no. Okay, now I'm screwed. Thank you. Hey, now do some more that. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, this way, this way. Right. Use your head, mate. Use your head. Suckers. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? Hey, 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 jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money, and a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Ooh. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first yeah, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job from someone they know and trust 
Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. Chloe, you reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <clears throat> okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. The first one should be right ahead of you. Here it is. I also left the detonator for you. Uh-huh. There we are. All right. First one set. Don't touch the button. This one? <laughs> Once you've set all the charges, just hit the detonator and it's showtime. <laughs> They'll never know what hit them. Just be careful. Zarevich has got his men posted all around the perimeter. Keep an eye out for patrols. <sighs> I'm sweating like a hooker in church. You brought a hooker to church? Why not? Said quiet, mate. That's the other end of loud. I'm a good shot. Damn it. Looks like we can swing across there. <laughs> Maybe you can. All right, hold on, Grandpa. See if I can find another way up.
Heads up! Ah, perfect. Thanks, kid. This way. Nate, you should be approaching excavation site one by now. They should have been back by now. Shit, we've been spotted. Take them out fast. We can't let them send word back to camp. close to the first camp. I've planted four more charges in there, but you're going to have to clear the place out before you can arm them. There's nothing out here. When will he give up? Was that it? Give up? Remember Here's the camp. About. You ready for this? We've Let's do it. What else does he expect to find? Don't let Lazarevich hear you talking like that. Still got to arm three of the charges. There should be only two left. Nate, we still gotta arm the explosives, remember? One more, and we're out of here. Okay, 
That's all of them. Now, let's go pay Mr. Lazarvich a visit. Can't reach us. Come on over here. I'll give you a boost. Come on, gorgeous. Jump up. Yep. Uh, oh. You got a great ass, Sully. Uh, thanks. Here you go, kid. All right. Ooh, that must have been some tsunami to wash these ships so far inland. is down again. Uh, the damn thing is always breaking down. Come on, let's just fix it so we can get out of here. Look, they're not armed. Well, not that many. What are we waiting for? We can take these guys. I don't know, Sully. Maybe... Yeah! Yeah! Always follow the hose. Just like in Montreal, huh? You're never gonna forget that, are you? I think I see the camp up ahead. Three months, and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now, wait, wait a minute. We've been... Commander! That must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> you would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no need, no need. <laughs> Surrounded by traitors and fools! What do you say we really ruined this guy's day? Do it. Run out! Search the perimeter! Go! Alright, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here.
Oh, that had to hurt. Stop right there! This Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> Here they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Is that supposed to mean something? Beats me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. They must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani Stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo is he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail. Back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead. Oh, crap! Right out! Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Nate. Well, you that's convenient. Have some of this. They're coming down the middle.
on me. Gotcha, Sully. Should be this way. Sully, look at these stones. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Grenade! <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello. What do we have here? With any luck... The last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? Wow, this place must be thousands of years old. At least. Down this way. Oh, looks like we hit the jackpot. Ugh, there must be hundreds of bodies down here. Look at their teeth. They're all black. 
Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they were shipwrecked. More resin. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Ooh. Wait a minute. This is blood. It's everywhere. It's like a real massacre. All right, let's follow the blood stains. We'll see if they lead somewhere. to end at this wall. Yeah, that's odd. This moves a little. Sully, help me out. Go again with the pushing. I think I hurt myself. The trail leads in here. More bodies. Oh my god. You know, maybe I'm crazy. But it looks like they all killed each other. Come on, mate. You're just getting spooked. Wow. Look at this. What do we have here? Careful. Kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a purba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples anymore, it's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. All <laughs> right, nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Let's get going. I'm going to go out and make sure the coast is clear. I'll see you in a bit. Look 
Give me a hand, Nate. This way! Oh, God damn it. Come on. Harry! In here! Don't let them escape! It's Drake! What the hell are... Get your hands up. You sure know how to pick them. Shut up, Sonny. Should have known it was you. <laughs> and you. Victor, goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships, though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet... One temple will reveal a pathway to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. Oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move. Come on, keep moving. Oh, shit. Are you all right? Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm going to try and buy you some time. No, Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Let's go. I like her. Yeah, I bet you do. Shit. They've spotted us. Run for it. Jump? Oh, hold on there, son bitch. You gotta be out of your mind. We'll break our goddamn necks. If we get caught, Lazarevich will break them for us. I'm getting too old for this bullshit. Oh, come on, now don't you start this again. Listen, I don't have your luck. Guys like me gotta know when to walk away from the table. Sully, we're gonna get out of this, okay? We always do. Yeah. You go meet your girl in Nepal. I'm going somewhere warm. Come on. Hey, you can tell me all about it when you get back. Yes. Well, shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, kid. <laughs> Shit. Well, when you said Lazarevich had a head start on us, you weren't kidding. Well, he's had some help from the local guerrillas. The city's been on the brink of civil war for years. He just needed to throw a little gasoline on the fire. Charming. Yeah, well, all the chaos provides some cover while he destroys the city looking for the right temple. Nate? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? No, oh, me? Never. Good, because I'm so ready to be done with these clowns. You got a map? Uh... Yeah. I'll meet you in the old market. Things are pretty quiet over there. All right, you got it. Uh oh. You got company. Oh, great. Can you lose them? I think it might be too late for that. Come on. Nate, are you all right? I've been better.
Market. Ought to be this way. Find him. Crap. Go, go, go. Oh, he's here somewhere. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Keep your eyes open. Oh, how's that feel? Okay. Now we just gotta find Chloe. I'm not going that way. It looks like that'd get me up there. Ugh! <sighs> 
Parking job. the streets! Over here!
Okay. That'll come in handy. Seems like I am always saving your ass. Well, it is an ass worth saving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that an ancient Tibetan ritual dagger in your pocket? Oh, maybe I'm just happy to see you. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, hello. So this is the key to everything. Yes, it is. Marco Polo's passport to Shambhala. What do we do with it? Ah! I have no idea, actually. I do know Lazarevich won't get very far without it. I wouldn't underestimate him, you know. He and Flynn have been tearing this city apart. They must have leveled dozens of temples already. So what's our next move? Nate? Oh, I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Check this out. You see the symbol? Yeah. Look up there. Okay, I see the resemblance, so what does it mean? It means we know how Marco Polo found his next clue. The temple we're looking for is going to be marked with this emblem. Now all we have to do is find it. <laughs> you do realize there are literally hundreds of these temples throughout the city. Yes, but if we found a higher vantage point... We could spot our needle in the haystack. Right. There's a hotel not far from here. <laughs> Chloe. Now is not the time. It's easily the tallest building in the city. Right. Right. Well, okay. That's, uh, that's good thinking. Follow me. Yep. It's no good. It's locked. Wait here. I'll see if I can find a way around. Just what I need. Watch out! Ah! Yeah, it looks like that'd get me up there. Hey, I can see the hotel from up here. Yeah, I know. We're almost there. Ah!
Stand back! Now open the door! Well, guess you had that one covered. Give me a boost. I think I can reach that ladder. It's a shame you have to sit on something that time. Here you go. Say I never do anything for you. Come on, this way. Go. Okay. Any day now. Just don't want to get a skin top. That was chivalrous, huh? Yeah, it's not dead. You just gotta ask for it. Things are going too well for the resistance. I 
I don't like these odds. No? No, I think maybe we should cut over to the hotel a different way. Just avoid this crew altogether. I'm sorry, do you have a plan to go along with that grenade? Yes, I do. I'm gonna circle around this way, break up their little party. Aren't you forgetting about somebody? Well, that's where you come in, sweetheart. I need you to take care of him. But, uh, do it quietly. Do it quietly? Yeah. Are you sure about this? Desperate times, right? What does that mean?
Oh, crap. Reinforced. I think that's the last of them. Well, this is the hotel. Now we just have to find a way up. <laughs> hey, I think what? this is our best bet. Give me a boost up. You got it. <clears throat> okay. You got it? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Come on up. All right. Looks clear so far. Is there another way in? Not from here. Resourceful. All right, I'm in. Oh, crap. Pleasant. You must have hit a generator. Give me a hand. Just a little more. Nate, move. 
That's no good. I'm gonna have to fix the power to get you out. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I wish I'd brought something to read. Looks like the circuit breaker's on the top floor. Just sit tight, I'll take care of it. Great. Power's out and a girl's trapped. I swear to God, if there's a zombie around the next corner... Power's out and a girl's trapped. I swear to God, if there's a zombie around the next corner. Yes! God. Almost there. Come on. Uh, 
Off she goes. Oh, I think you're liking this a bit too much. <sighs> Check it out. Marco. Fish out of water. You are so unprofessional. Well, here we are. Now we just gotta find the right temple. Well, that may be easier said than done. No, tell me about it. Maybe we can... Oh, bingo. There it is. That's the one. Yeah, it's gotta be. The one in the middle of all the gunfire and explosions. Lucky us. Nate, that's right where Lazarevich is camped. I was hoping we'd be headed in the opposite direction. Well, desperate times, right? Crap. Any chance this is Sector 19? Sweep the city, find him, and take him out. Son of a bitch. All right, time to go. Come on, Nate, let's get moving. Damn it. How the hell do we get across? Oh, God, be careful. Holy shit. Ah! Okay, I've got you. Give me your hand. Just go! Don't stop!
in that. <laughs> this way, come on. Guess we caught this hotel in the down season, huh? <sighs> come on. Bridge. Sweet. Yeah, tell me about it. The resistance fighters built them to get across the rooftops. Lucky for us. Just what I need.
Okay, lower the bridge. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, that wire. That's our way down. Go, go. All right, all right. Find another way down. All right. Hey, hey, don't you... Hey! <sighs> Nate? What the hell are you doing here? Elena? Jack, don't! Wait, you know this guy? Yeah. This is Drake. Oh. Sorry. So, what's your angle on all this misery? You gonna plunder a few temples, loot the museum? It's nice to see you too. Suppose you're here for some noble crusade, right? Actually, we're trailing a fugitive war criminal. Zoran Lazarevich, have you heard of him? Isn't that NATO's job? Well, they think that he's dead. Killed in some bombing raid. Oh, and you're here to prove otherwise. You know what? This guy's a real monster, Nate. We're talking torture, mutilation, mass executions. See, now he's, he's plotting something new. But why out here? Why, why tear apart the city, you know? It just doesn't make any sense. Oh. What? Now, tell me you don't have anything to do with this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There you are, Nate. I think I lost them. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's all right, Chloe. They're journalists. Oh. We need to keep moving if we want to stay one step ahead of Lazarevich, so... Oh, man, Nate... Uh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Now, don't jump to conclusions, Elena. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I sensing some history here? Oh, Elena Fisher. Last year's model. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I'm glad you find this so funny. Well, it's just, I never figured you for the white bread picket fence type. Hey, she's a lot tougher than she looks, thank you. <sighs> Oh. Oh, what? She broke your heart. Oh, please. She did. Hey, you didn't know what? She? Maybe I broke hers. Oh, yes, Casanova. 
We need to get moving. Uh, wait. Um, they're coming with us. Can't be serious. Uh, yeah, I am. I mean, I can't just ditch him in the middle of this mess. They're only going to slow us down. And if uh, we Chloe. Caught, if Lazarevich catches you and me together... I'm not leaving them behind. You don't always have to play the bloody hero, you know? Nate! Just dance with the one who brought you, all right? Yeah, I get it. But they're still coming with us. Well, we don't need saving, Nate. Thank you. <laughs> you might want to rethink that. Shit. Run! Look out! Oh, what's next? Don't ask for this trouble. Pretty good shot for a journalist. I've had some practice. Just keep moving. Help me with this door. On three. One, two, three. That's it. Thanks. Great. Well, how are we gonna get across? There's a ladder on the far side. Maybe we should swim across. Current's too strong. We'll never make it. <laughs> Good thinking. Well, that'll get us halfway there. Go on, boost you up. Pretty sweet, huh?
like this with him? Pretty, Pretty much. See anything up there? Come on, this way. <laughs> Those are resistance fighters. <laughs> Just come on. We have to hurry. We should be safe in here. Oh, cool. How about that, huh? You brought us right to the doorstep. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's not a coincidence that we ended up here? Uh, no, not exactly. <laughs> God, you're an ass. Okay, just what is it you're after, anyway? See that symbol up there? It's called the Chintamani Stone. Nate? It's a massive raw sapphire. It's worth millions. So let me get this straight. You're competing with a psychopathic war criminal for a mythological gemstone? When you put it that way, it does sound pretty stupid. Yeah, thanks for the input, Jeff. And it's supposedly in this temple. Uh, well, no. It, the stone itself isn't here. Hey, look at that. No? Uh, no, it's in Shambhala. Shambhala? Nate? Yeah, you know, Shangri-La. Can I have a word with you, darling? On second thought, perhaps we should continue this conversation inside. Good idea. Come on. All right, we should be safe in here for now. This just doesn't add up, Nate. Lazarevich can't be after the money. He doesn't need it. You're missing something. Come on. We haven't got all day. You two stay here. I promise me you'll stay put. We'll be right back. Famous last words. <laughs> oh. Well, that's more like it. You don't think they're a couple, do you? They're not a couple. Uh. Get a load of him. This is definitely the right temple. Well, that looks like the Chintamani stone, all right. There must be a hidden entrance here somewhere. Wait, I've seen this guy before. It's something to do with the arms. Gotta get up there. But how? I can't believe you just got in. Come on in, the water's fine. No way, you just want to see my t-shirt wet. Looks like the locals are still using this place. Hang on, I'm gonna get a closer look at this thing. Sure. I'll just wait down here. You sure that's right? Up, 
you go. How's that look? Well, how am I supposed to know you've got the damn book? Nice one. Thank you. God, you're lucky. Hey, come on, admit it. You're impressed. I am. I'll throw you a banana. What is it? Chloe, this isn't just a dagger. It's a key. Hmm. Well, let's find out what it opens. <sighs> Pretty creepy, but say ah. Uh... Technically, I did it. Be right there. What do you think? You game? Ladies first. If you say so. <sighs> Thank God I'm not claustrophobic. Huh. You know, it's actually kind of romantic down here. All right. 
There's the chocolates and flowers. <sighs> you never were a chocolate and flower kind of girl. Oh, you know me so well. You're not going to get us trapped in a small dark space 30 meters underground, are you? Probably. It's a little bit of a drop. All right, I'm coming. Ugh. Little drop. Yeah, maybe I underestimated. What do you make of this? Looks like some kind of tree. Um, <clears throat> what's that got to do with the two money stone? You got me. Hmm. Oh, it's opening up down here. Okay. Life is still flashing before me. All right, come on, follow me. Oh, I'm hungry. Bloody hell. Oh, this must be the place. Hey, that thing looks familiar. Yeah, it looks like the Perva Dagger. Uh-huh. These lights must activate it somehow. Those mirrors seem important. Just have to bounce the light around the room. One down, two to go. What do you reckon? We're gonna have to climb that thing? I reckon I'm gonna have to climb that thing. up here and see if we can get a better look. Okay, be careful up there. Seem like 
such a good idea down there. more reflectors up here. Chloe! Yeah? Adjust the other reflector. I'm on it. Nice work! Okay, now what? Hold on. Did it. it looks like that blade opened up a new path. Just to your left. Got it. One more blade to go. Now how am I going to get that eye open?
We just need to adjust that other reflector. On my way. Good, that's it. Watch it. I did it. down. So, the secret of Shambhala is <coughs> down this guy's throat? I guess so. I know where that is. That's right here. You see the shape of, of that peak there? Uh-huh. Here it is. Which means... Let me use your back. Which means... The entrance to Shambhala must be right here. So, we did it. We did it. Yes. <laughs> we did it. Oh, crap. That kills the mood. There's only one way out of here. You ready? Let's go. Right through Jeff and Elena. We've got to get back to the end.
Now's our chance. Let's get out of here. We gotta hurry. From him. Oh, the coast is clear. Come on. Oh shit. Where are they? I knew this would happen.
that opens. Better keep moving. He's hit. Uh, I'm okay. Let me see. Oh. All right, you're gonna be fine. All right. Think you can stand? I think so. All right, come on, hop in. No, 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 leave that. It's busted anyway. Here we go. Up. Oh. Nate. He's fine, aren't you, Chief? All right, get the door open. He's never gonna make it. We have to leave him. What? No! Uh, get the door open, Chloe! Gonna get us all killed! All right, well, let's Shit. go. Come on! Go, Nate! I'll cover you! Hey, in here! We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Elena, barricade oh, the door. Got it. Come on. We can't do this. Just go! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Bastard. Oh. Think it's clear. Oh, look uh. out! I've got you! Uh. Uh. You're gonna be okay. No, stay with me. Holy shit! Effort, you'd think I'd known you longer, huh? <laughs> oh, shit! It's all right, we can make that. He can't. Oh, no, you 
don't. We don't have a choice. I can't. Nate? Okay. You tried, but it's over. He can't go any further. We can't just leave him here to die. He is as good as dead already, and so are we if we don't go now. Then go. Yeah. Nobody's stopping you. Chloe. I was trying to save your skin, you idiot. Chloe? What is this? Sorry. Drop the guns. Seriously. Get her out of here. She's hurt. Take her to the train. Unbelievable. You just can't help yourself, can you? I guess that makes us even. Not quite. Carry him all the way from the temple. Shame. No! <laughs> now, tell me what you found in the temple. The answer that you're looking for. Okay? I know where the stone is. But you're not going to find it without me. So just... Just let her go, and I will lead you right to it. Ah, uh, my shadow. You are the reporter who has been biting at my heels. You better pray that he is not bluffing. Search him. Come on. <laughs> that is brilliant, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it appears you have nothing to bargain with, Mr. Drake. Return to the staging ground. Prepare to move out. You, come with me. You. Take care of them. No problem. How can you work for that monster? Beats working against him, love. So that's it, huh? Just gonna mow us down in cold blood? Looks that way, doesn't it? Get up. I said get up! Ah! Run! Stop them!
way. Get down. You all right? Yeah. Never better. <laughs> you? Not that I want you. <sighs> okay. Uh, I think we lost him. Never should have got you into this mess. You didn't. I got here on my own. Nah. I mean, you know, the, the rest of it. Oh, we knew what the stakes were. <sighs> okay, so, uh, what do we do now? I'm going after her. Huh. Of course you are. Typical. Go after her. <gasps> Flynn said something about a train. Which means they would have taken her to the rail yard. Here. So it should be that way. Past the water tower there. Nate, she pulled a gun on us. I know. She was about to pull the trigger, too. They just beat her to it. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Flynn knew she was with me. If Lazarevich finds out she double-crossed him, you know what he'll do to her. Yeah. I've seen his handiwork. Then you know I don't really have much of a choice. Honor among thieves, huh? Something like that. I sure hope you know what you're doing. I don't have the faintest idea. <laughs> ah, good to know that some things just never change. <laughs> okay, let's go. What? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not coming with me. Nate. Shut up. Okay? We have a train to catch. There's the water tower. Right behind you. 